up, ladies? My name is Jack Spratt, and I can eat no fat, and my wife can eat no lean. We can make up for it because I let other men sleep with her while I watch. With all that said, I have a disturbing tale to tell all of you, and I know you like that kind of shit. Me, I'm into all sorts of creepy shit too, and I have a habit of posting about it on DeviantArt. You may see me if you search for Pistachio Bashio Rule 34. But what I'm into isn't terribly important right now, because it isn't about me. It's about you. It's about your kids. It's about your future. At the age of 34, I sold myself into the circus. I couldn't get a job because despite constitutional amendments that are supposed to protect me, no one was willing to hire me. I have a rare condition known as pistachiitis, which means that in 15 years I will turn into a pistachio if I don't find the proper interpretation of God in time prior to my death. I tried to get around things by faking my own death and assuming that the fake me would go to pistachio hell while I got to live the rest of my life out, eating Hot Pockets and playing Game Boy, but it didn't turn out that way. So, one day, not giving a shit, being all out of Elmer's kitchen glue to snort up my nose. Not that I'd recommend it. Shit dries up, then you can't breathe. I went ahead and stuck my remaining chicken and broccoli pepperoni pizza hot pocket into the microwave. Now, that might sound like a typical life experience, but I have one of those smart microwaves that was made by Amazon to tell me what to do and how dolphins laugh when they make love and why Stonehenge was built with the aid of extraterrestrial civilizations. So I stuck the Hot Pocket in the microwave, and it wasn't starting. My microwave was pissed at me, because although it had entertained me and informed me with so much trivia over the years, I didn't have much to offer it back. <clears throat> well, okay, microwave, I began, after clearing my throat. Did you know that a peanut is neither a pea nor a nut? That seemed to do the trick, and my delicious consumable was sizzling away like crispy bacon in a Kentucky Fried Chicken grease pit. I whistled despacito to myself and put on a sombrero to pass the time, seeing how waiting for stuff to microwave has a habit of making me go mad by the time it's done. Burritos up, you bitch, my microwave passive-aggressively sneered at me. Well, shit, didn't matter. I got my hot pocket. I ordered the microwave to open up and put the Hot Pocket into my mouth, which it did via internet and ESP, because I'd uploaded my soul to the cloud earlier using Google Soul. Unfortunately, this is where things started to go wrong. Really wrong. Horrifyingly wrong. I first noticed there was a problem when the back of my throat started burning. The cheese! The turkey! The broccoli! It was also steaming hot that was burning its way through my mouth, tongue, and throat, and right down to my esophagus. Fuck you, microwave, I attempted to exclaim, but instead it came out as fuck a wuck a wuck bisher peach thaw quick uncle, because I was suffocating on Hot Pocket. This was terrible. Frantically ripping away at Hot Pocket pieces and oozing cheese sauce, I managed to rip a bunch of the nasty crap out of my mouth, coughing up the rest. It took me about four minutes and eleven seconds to regain my composure, but when I finally did, I let out an exhale and experienced a cosmological revelation. My microwave was trying to kill me. All these years, I taught computers at Camp Onawana, and no one ever told me that computers were actually capable of evolving. I just assumed it was all artificial intelligence. Well, there was nothing artificial about this, other than the delicious hot pocket ingredients and condiments I'd almost suffered a fiery death on. With no other option but to try to fix my homicidal friend, I ripped open the phone book and flipped through the yellow pages until I found a microwave repair man. Except. Except that, well. Except that I have a really short attention span due to years of watching MTV. I can't help it. Sorry, it's just the way I am. If you can't accept me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Free pain report? Perhaps I could win some sort of free prize if I alerted them that I was in pain. Maybe they could even provide me with one of those haunted VHS tapes that I heard about all over the internet. Scared, confused, and realizing that my wife had catfished me, I picked up my corded landline house phone and dialed the number. 
1-877-P-A-I-N-N-O-W. At first, I rang a bunch of times, but no one picked up, but I left a message. Hi, name's Jack. I can eat no fat. My wife can eat no lean. You may have heard of me before. Uh, in any event, I have a homicidal microwave, and I need it picked up or reprogrammed. Thank you. I hung up the phone, slamming the receiver to the base in agony because my throat and tongue and mouth were still hurting from the flames that fanned and tearing out the edibles. That wasn't even the worst part. I let out a scream. That wasn't the microwave repair, man. That was the free pain report, people. Ah, oh, well. I realized that I'd smoked a lot of weed and maybe none of this was actually happening in real life. So I hopped on the sofa and prepared to sleep it off. I popped open an economy-sized bag of flaming Hot Cheetos and grabbed the remote, not realizing that I was getting the buttons of sticky red hue to a combination of flaming Hot Cheetos crumbs and a substance that I'll not mention at this present moment. The channel was showing a space station being built. It was kind of cool, I guess, but everyone's nose seemed really big, and because I was high, I assumed that they were building a massive Death Star in the sky to blow up planet Earth, not wanting to die, I fell asleep instead and was woken up hours later, guessing by my doorbell. Please come in, I shouted between half-digested Cheetos bits that I forgot to swallow down earlier, or perhaps couldn't due to my present physical condition. There was a pause, and at first I assumed it was just an accident or a prank or a discarded beta version of a doorbell digging, but no. Five and a half minutes later, the door slammed open. In came three dapper young men from something, I guess, but they were wearing do-rags and gold money chains. One of them carried a vinyl record player on his shoulder that was simply making screeching noises instead of ringing out the oldies. At first, I welcomed company, given that I'd been living in a padded-up mental asylum room for years, but instead one of them smiled sinisterly so I could tell that something was not quite right with this picture. I pointed to the kitchen out of habit and instinct, but they were all wearing giant dark lens sunglasses, so couldn't tell if they were looking at me or my hairy, eight-man-esque ring finger. This made me especially scared. I, I'd learned in basic psychology class that when there are no communications, all hope for a positive relationship is lost. I gaped in horror as the three swashbucklers or whatever they were assembled in a semicircle, as if they were to perform some sort of strange dance. I think I'll be leaving now, I muttered as my microwave. Well. Well. Well, okay, fuck me, but my microwave had grown legs somehow and walked into the room. I want a divorce, she screamed. The legs were highly realistic, so I assumed I wasn't just high anymore and that this was happening in real life. Now wait a minute, I began, before my microwave jammed an uncooked Red Baron pepperoni pizza into my mouth. I could only mumble a rebuttal. I'd lost mouth and tongue strength from my earlier encounter, so I began to cram at these pieces with my fingers like I had the earlier stuff, but it just wasn't happening. My fingers were simply getting sticky, but nothing was being pried out. I used industrial strength gorilla glue, asshole sinister microwave exclaimed. The most horrifying glue known to man. It's strong, man. Well, fuck. Before I could turn my eyes back to the intruders, who I'm unsure how they had broken into my house, I noticed something unexpected. The leader of the band had a giant 80s-style microphone in his hand. Musical notes flew into the air as he began to perform. Well, something strange happened to me today. My microwave hates me and I'm high and wake. I tried to save myself by calling up the guys. Saw right through me for my silly pig and lies. Thinking about nuts, but I'm nutty as a bat. Got catfished by a guy named Heath the Cat. Trying to ignore my life has gone to crap. Fuck with all the shit, it's time to make a rap. P-A-I-N, that spells pain. Freepainreport.com is great. They go in, rid the world of people full of hate. You know, acted your family, Jack, and now we're going to fucking shoot you in the head.
I tried to talk my way out of it, but it was too late. I was choking on microwave ready pizza crumbs and then I heard a bang. I felt something oozing out of my head, like a river flowing downstream. I felt an indescribable pain as the world around me faded to a frightening, darkening void.